Plymouth City Airport closed in December 2011. There have been a number of proposals for the site, including reopening the airport and creating a number of housing developments. However, all have been unsuccessful without backing. A number of general needs for the community have been identified by the Plymouth City Council within the Northern Toolkit created in 2015. The major need for the North of Plymouth was a hub to provide both social and commercial benefits. There is huge potential for rejuvenating the whole of the Northern Plymouth area through development of the existing site. Derriford has become a major employment destination, however there is limited housing and services to support the workers. There is also a lack of amenities with a walking distance to the residents in the area. Horizon Consultancy have put together a proposed redevelopment of the full extent of the existing site. Development opportunities identified to meet the desires of the council and local community include a range of housing, a community centre, a shopping centre, a secondary school and a new entertainment arena. We are Horizon Consultancy. Welcome. My name is Thomas Pearson and I'm the project manager for Horizon Consultancy. I'd like to introduce you to our marketing video. Horizon Consultancy was formed in 2016 and the design project team includes civil, civil and coastal engineers and mechanical engineers. A number of potential design options were evaluated but the one that really caught our eye was the Plymouth City Airport redevelopment. The site is located to the north of Plymouth in the southwest of England. The whole project emphasis is on sustainability and trying to provide benefits to the wider community. The Horizon Consultancy team comprises of Thomas Pearson, Project Manager, Sam Cale, Project Secretary, Paul Newland, Structural Lead, Nick Benham, Civil and Structural Engineer, Tom Jones, Civil Lead, Ryan Bruton, Mechanical Lead, Ryan Summers, Energy and Environmental Lead. Horizon Consultancy has identified a desire for a medium-sized entertainment arena with a capacity of 1,500 to 2,000, which is dynamic and able to host a range of events. This structure will incorporate a number of unique features such as mechanically opening walls that can transform the venue from an indoor arena to an outdoor amphitheatre which will increase the capacity threefold. The structure has been designed using the Association of British Theatre Technicians technical standards for places of entertainment. A key aspect of the project and a key driver in the planning request being successful to meet Plymouth City Council's requirements is for provision of new housing. The developments will include a range of housing being both detached, terraced and apartments. The 125 detached houses and 36 terraced houses have been designed to include three to four and two bedrooms respectively for families. A total of 34 residential apartment blocks offer housing for smaller families, couples and single occupancy featuring a mixture of two bed, one bed and studio apartments. A unique feature of the housing is utilising renewable energy solutions such as solar panels and roofs and rainwater harvesting facilities within the gardens in line with the company's environmental policy. In order to demonstrate our compliance with industry recognised standards, the code for sustainable homes has been used but all housing achieves at least a level 4 rating. There is potential for housing to achieve a level 5 rating upon clarification of site details. The Northern Toolkit has identified a need for educational services in the area. Horizon Consultancy have identified that a secondary school will best meet this need on the site. The secondary school is designed for a capacity of 800 students aged 11 to 16. This standalone structure will utilise natural light where possible incorporate an intelligent building management system and contemporary design of modern teaching facilities. Building size and guidance has been taken from the Educational Funding Agency along with lighting, ventilation and acoustic design. The community centre has been designed to benefit the community socially 
with a wide range of users. It will be able to host a number of events from wedding receptions to local sports events. The structure also incorporates an aviation museum to link the development to the heritage of the site. Brian and building regulations have been used throughout the design. There is a shortage of high quality grade A and B1 office space in Plymouth. Horizon Consultancy will deliver six medium office blocks offering space to accommodate approximately 2,280 employees. The office blocks will be unique in offering adaptable office space and car parking with permeable surface. The HSE workplace regulations were used in the design. Marjorie University's Challenging Horizons plans will expand its population from 2,500 to 5,000. As part of the developments and to meet this demand, Horizon Consultancy will create accommodation for 610 students in the form of 12 three-storey blocks of halls of residence as well as some terraced housing. In order to meet the Plymouth City Council's recommendations, the Council's Development Guidelines Supplementary Planning Document has been used in the design. The Northern Toolkit has identified a need for commercial services in the area within walking distance. Horizon Consultancy's centrally located Empanage Shopping Centre will help ensure the developments are more self-sustained and will cater for the local community as well as those visiting the developments on the site. The shopping centre will be unique in having a grass roof to reduce rainfall runoff and will have wind turbines. The Council's development guidelines as well as the EA's Access for All design guide been used in the design. Sustainability and environmentally friendly design are important aspects of our company ethos. Sustainable elements of the project include a geotextile grid and permeable paving in all car parks, a large balancing pond, as well as renewable energy from a combination of solar panels and wind turbines, generating a total of over 5 gigawatt hours. Design standards include British standard for rainwater harvesting and wind turbine design. Sporting facilities have been designed for recreational use for the secondary school as well as the wider community. Sports England and British Standard for artificial sports surfaces have been used in order to design a floodlit multi-use synthetic turf pitch that can be used for football, hockey and five side, as well as the additional facilities to accommodate tennis and basketball. Main car parks have been located close to key development infrastructure and will accommodate over 600 spaces. Additionally, an expansion of the George Junction Park and Ride will provide around 400 spaces. The main car parks will utilise permeable paving to reduce rainwater runoff. Four footbridges have been identified for construction in order to link the development site to the wider community. This will encourage the community to use the new amenities and increase the levels of walking and cycling in the area. Three segregated pedestrian cycle bridges and one smaller footbridge are to be delivered following Highways Agency guidance for the design of the structures. The woodland area provides much needed recreational space for the north of Plymouth, in line with the northern toolkit aims. This includes large balancing ponds to form part of the drainage network and diverse planting to attract wildlife including dormice, nightjar and skylark. The woodland area has been designed in accordance with the Suds Manual and Woodland Trust guidance for accessible woodland. In order to provide transport connections, drainage and services to the development site, key infrastructure has been designed. Outline proposals for an HDP foul and surface water sewers, 11 kV electricity cables, telecoms lines and low pressure gas mains have been specified. Additionally, internal roads are to include curb stones with a built-in drainage channel. Design guidance has been sought from Cornwall County Council's Drainage Unit and the Department for Transport. Plymouth in general, and specifically the airport site, is close to Dartmoor National Park, which offers fantastic scenery of tours and woodland, and a host of activities such as cycling and rock climbing. In order to increase the pedestrian and cycle access between the site and Dartmoor, Horizon Consultancy has designed a 1.8km cycle link to the existing Plymouth Cycle Trail suitable for both pedestrian and cycle access. Cycle hire will be available to make the cycle link more accessible and in line with the company's sustainability policy, the surface of the cycle trail will utilise tarmac surfacing with a vegetable binder. The design was completed using guidance from the Department for Transport and Highways Agency. 
in order to reduce congestion on Tavistock Road and to provide a suitable link to the development site from the A38, carriageway expansion is to be undertaken on Forda Valley Road and Novorossiysk Road. A three mile section is to be expanded to provide two lanes in both directions. Guidance has been sought from the design manual for roads and bridges and the government produced manual for streets. It has been estimated that the entire project duration will last seven and a half years, from June 2016 until completion in December 2023. The design phase is expected to last nine months, followed by a five month planning application and a two month tendering process. Construction is due to commence in late 2017 and last six years. It has been split into five phases with road widening, infrastructure and housing prioritised at the start. The principal contractor will be expected to have enough resources for two project components to be completed concurrently. On completion, an important handover phase will be commenced. This is crucial to integrating the development into the local community and ensuring that all of the proposed designs have been built in accordance with the relevant design standards. It is at this stage that the final BRIAM and Code for Sustainable Homes assessments will be completed. The total cost of the project has been estimated at £223 million. Upon completion of a discounted cash flow analysis, it has been determined that a business loan of £150 million will be required to account for the deficit during the project. At the end of the construction phase, the expenditure deficit will have reached a maximum and the payback stage will be initiated. A linear income at a rate of just over £9 million per year has been estimated and, at this rate, payback will be achieved approximately 22 years after the earlier stage of design. This project will completely regenerate the north of Plymouth, forming a landmark development to the entire southwest, whilst encouraging sustainable living and development practices. However, risks identified include being unable to obtain planning permission or required funding for the project, and delays to the project schedule. To negate these risks to ensure the success of the development, it is critical to consider potential stakeholders. To evaluate Horizon Consultancy's strategic marketplace position, a SWOT analysis has been conducted. This identified the innovative project team with sustainability ingrained in the company culture. However, the company is in its infancy with limited experience of working on such large projects. We have the opportunity to create a reputation as an environmentally conscious, forward-thinking company. However, it may be difficult to compete with already established competitors for projects and cost savings. Numerous design standards and codes of practice have been used throughout the project. These have guided the design process and have formulated the basis of controls to be implemented throughout the construction and handover phase. Consultant involvement from Horizon Consultancy throughout the construction phase will ensure the principal contractor adheres to the relevant design standards. Horizon Consultancy has developed a proposal for the redevelopment of the Plymouth City Airport site. The project will provide new homes, a state-of-the-art entertainment arena and a secondary school, along with many new amenities. The total estimated cost for the project is £223 million and is anticipated to have a payback time of just over 22 years. The overall project is expected to take seven and a half years. These proposals will create a new and vibrant community whilst encouraging economic growth by supplementing existing and bringing in new jobs to the area.